let's begin with a story. I have a son, Henry, who plays hockey, and he's a goalie. And he has big, white, fluffy, boring pads. And we wanted to decorate them. So I looked around a little bit, and I found a product called Pad Skins, which is like, like a leather that you can cut and put accents on the pads. And that's what most people do. They create stripes or little pointy bits or accent marks or shapes. You can buy them in multiple colors. But I had kind of a different idea. I wanted to take their logo and I wanted to simplify it and make it black and white. And then I wanted to cut that up in the leather and put it on the pads split down the middle, half of it on each pad. So I threw the logo in Photoshop and I created a simplified black version and resized it to fit on the pads. And then I divided it up into eight and a half by 11 chunks so I could print it out and then assemble it as one giant template. Once I had it printed out, I trimmed the pieces that needed to be trimmed because some of them overlap. And I laid them out on a table and I scotch taped them together to make one big full size template of the logo that I wanted to cut. Then I took the leather, put it underneath, and I trimmed off as much as I needed for this pattern. And I taped the leather down to the table, kind of stretching it, making sure it was smooth. And then I covered the entire thing with a layer of masking tape. There was a reason for this, and I'll explain it in a second. And then I taped the template on top of the masking tape. And here's why I put the tape on top of the leather. I sprayed a little bit of spray adhesive on there so the template would stick. And I didn't want to have to clean the adhesive off the leather. And then I used a very sharp, brand new X-Acto knife blade. And I traced around the outside bits and removed the excess as I did it. And it was actually easier to cut than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't difficult at all. And as I kept cutting parts off, I would tape down the little corners and the bits that stick out because they kind of wanted to curl up a little bit and I wanted to keep it as flat as possible while I cut out the rest of it. Some of the parts that were thinner, I chose to make just a little bit thicker because my understanding was the thicker it was, the longer it would adhere to the pad that the really thin pieces tend to come off after a while. So once I had it done, then I had to remove the template and the tape, which actually probably was one of the more difficult parts of it. The tape really stuck, and that's why I didn't want to leave it. I put the tape on, I did all the cutting, and I pulled it all off the same day, because if you leave that tape on there, it will leave residue if you leave it more than a few days. I was also careful not to stretch or tear the leather as I was pulling the tape off. Unfortunately, we had a little brain aneurysm and did not start the camera while we were putting the leather on. Let's just say we were not experts at doing it and it took a lot of finagling to get it on there right. We had to make sure that it went on straight and that it wasn't stretched in a crazy way. But it looks pretty decent once we got it on there. And I think we're happy with it. Thanks for watching.